Give it up for Jimmy Gomez, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Congressman. I mean, Assembly Member. Good morning. Buenos dias. Ni hao ma. It is amazing to be here today. I want to requote what Jimmy said that elected officials come and go, um, with the exception of Jerry Brown. He's always <laughs> here. And we would not be here without his vision and the vision of his former chief of staff, who was the governor when a bunch of us in 2001 stood up there on that precipice and looked down at this land and reflected on centuries of people who came before us and thought about what was possible. So today, let us start by remembering. Remembering first the Tongva who were here. Remembering the Chinese and the laborers who came. Remembering the hangings and the riots. Remembering the Indian laborers who tended these fields when they were vineyards. Remembering the people who came and through not just the tragic moments, but the victories of survival, of perseverance, of persistence. Let us remember and picture that Zanja Madre that brought a thirsty Pueblo water so that it could grow. This is actually the park in one of the original locations before it was relocated up to Alvera Street. This was too low and it flooded out in the early 1800s. We remember the people in the community, Arthur Golding, Louis McAdams, Robert Garcia, Joel Reynolds, Chi Mui, the folks who stood up with their elected officials. And yes, Richard Polanco, you should be up here on this stage. You got the money that made it happen. And Tom LeBond is giving you a great massage, I know. Now, don't throw me the football now, Tom. I'll catch it, but you know, I don't want to embarrass you. Jackie Goldberg, Gloria Molina. Actually, Gil Cedillo and I were both elected officials back in 2001 at that groundbreaking, at that reimagining. But it was only made possible because the community rose up. And FOLAR, Environmental Defense, and NRDC, and the Chinese Consolidated Benevolent Society, and Concerned Citizens of South Central Los Angeles, and the Northeast Renaissance Corporation. We should not forget these names. Some of these groups exist, some of them have been renamed, some are no longer with us, but their spirit is the foundation of this park here today. We remember what's happened in the midst of this land, of the Alien Exclusion Act, which we must remember in the face of a Washington that would exclude all of us again. We must remember what we have done. We must remember that while we praise some elected officials up here, there were mayors and deputy mayors and council members who were against this, who wanted to put warehouses here. And people like Ed Reyes stepped up and made sure that a different vision could happen. I remember the words that Gray Davis said when he was here because we were working simultaneously on this and Taylor Yard. And he said, I'm governor and I looked at the map and I realized that here in the biggest city in the biggest state in the nation, there's no state parks right here. And here's his quote. He said, I've long believed that people should not have to travel hundreds of miles to see their state parks. Because environmental justice starts with parks in our backyards, within walking distance, that young people in this community can feel and can experience. And he said, the state park should come to the people. Well, today, the state park has come to the people. And we remember the voters, because Proposition 12 allowed that to happen. And Richard Polanco, together with Antonio Villaragosa as a speaker, they put $100 million together for the river. And together, the state and the city are acting together. We just purchased the G2 parcel. Together, that is our next mission, together with a bow tie parcel that still needs to be developed so the river can be liberated and brought together. With people like Lauren Bond, who had us reimagine this cornfield, not a cornfield, maybe a cornfield, sometimes a cornfield, maybe in the future a cornfield. Is it a cornfield because they planted corn here or didn't? Is it because the corn came off the train? We don't know, but it's everything. It's all of that. And I hope, in closing, we all can imagine what is possible, because this is a reflection not just of our past, but of our future. This land is sacred. Este es un gran día por los ángeles. Una visión de nuestro futuro y nuestro pasado también. Y esta tierra es sagrada. Esta tierra, finalmente, regresamos a la gente de los ángeles. This is a moment where we return this land to the people that have always owned it the people of LA. Felicidades, congratulations. And with that, let me turn it over.
And Hilda Solis was an elected official back then, too. We're the, the, the last ones to speak are the, the old, we're the viejos. And, 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 and not, not Hilda, though. She so looks like she's 35. I mean, let's give it up for her. But my fellow viejo, but a man who has got the job done, whose voice we need more than ever because of what's happening. We're not obsessed with the most powerful man in this country because we've got people like Gil Cedillo sticking up for the most vulnerable in our backyard. He has always fought for those who need us. Please welcome your city council member, Gil Cedillo.